Visa is seeking to create a muscle memory for digital asset settlements. It aims to enable customers to convert digital assets to fiat currencies on its platform. Kui Sheffield, the company's head of crypto division, discussed this at the start where Sessions 2023. He explained that they have been testing how to accept payments from issuers in USDC on Ethereum and payout in USDC. Visa has been looking into global settlements with digital assets and fiat currencies. It is exploring how to incorporate blockchain technology into its network to move money faster, while still using the SWIFT system. Former CEO Al Kelly has shared the firm's plans for CBDCs and private stablecoins. Sheffield has noted that they are exploring how to take the value that Visa provides on existing bank rails and rebuild it on top of blockchain rails using stablecoins. This statement from Visa's head of crypto division Kui Sheffield confirms the payment giant's commitment to exploring the potential use of blockchain technology and digital assets in global settlement. He highlighted the limitations of current systems such as SWIFT, and expressed the firm's interest in leveraging stablecoins as a potential solution. This is in line with former Visa CEO Al Kelly's view for central bank digital currency sand private stablecoins, which he shared at the annual shareholder meeting. Stark, Ware, a Layer 2 scaling solution for Ethereum, has announced its plans. It will open source its proprietary StarkNet prover under the Apache 2.0 license. This prover is used to compress hundreds of thousands of transactions into a cryptographic proof written on the Ethereum blockchain. It has already processed 327 million transactions and minted 95 million non-fungible tokens. The open sourcing of the prover will enable projects to use, edit, and customize the tech. Its release is anticipated to occur after the token launch and decentralization of StarkNet. Additionally, Starkware has already open-sourced its programming language and EVM competitor Cairo 1.0, Papyrus Full Note. It is in the process of open-sourcing its new sequencer. The decision to open-source the prover is intended to show confidence in the technology and enable projects to be more confident about using it. The launch of this open-sourced prover was celebrated at the Starkware Sessions Conference in Tel Aviv. This was the largest Layer 2 conference held so far. This is great news for the crypto community. Opening up the StarkNet Prover to open source development will make it possible for other projects and networks to take advantage of the Stark technology, as well as customize it for their own use. It will be exciting to see the impact that this technology will have on the Ethereum scaling space in the near future. The global financial crisis of 2007 to 2008 was a major financial crisis that had far reaching impacts on the global economy. This crisis was caused by a housing market bubble, unethical subprime mortgage lending practices, and the overproduction of sophisticated financial products like mortgage-backed securities. It resulted in a wave of foreclosures and a liquidity crisis in the global financial system. This caused decreased home prices, frozen credit markets, government intervention, bailouts, and a global recession. The consequences of the crisis were long-lasting, and Bitcoin was partially created as a response to it as a more secure and stable financial system. Bitcoin's public ledger and its tracking of financial transactions make it simpler to suppress unethical behaviors. This article provides a comprehensive overview of the global financial crisis of 2007 to 2008 and its repercussions. It outlines the main causes behind the crisis such as the housing market bubble, subprime mortgages, and sophisticated financial products. It also explains the effects of the crisis on the global economy and how Bitcoin was created as a response to it. This article serves as a valuable source of information for anyone who wants to understand the financial crisis and its implications.